guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a fun collaboration video with my friend Nadia here on Instagram as well as YouTube. Her and I bonded over our love for Angelica Nyquist and she actually made her own version of Angelica Nyquist made me buy it. And she left me a comment and I watched it and we have been Instagram buddies and YouTube buddies ever since. So she came up with this amazing idea of both of us using the same palette and creating some different looks and yeah we wanted to call it something like two people two skin tones one palette something I don't know what we're gonna end up calling it just yet but I thought it was such a great idea and I think she had mentioned maybe we'll do more palettes in the future so this might be a collaboration with a series and if you guys think this is a good idea and you want to try it definitely do so and let us know in the comments because we'd be happy to check out your videos. Also, I did have Nadia introduce herself, so I'm gonna go ahead and insert that video right here. Hello everyone, my name is Nadia and I'm from Switzerland, this tiny country in the middle of Europe. I started my YouTube channel this year and my YouTube channel is called Chups, which is a nickname I had for the longest time. And since I quite like it, I decided to keep it for my social media. On my channel, I talk about makeup, I do some get ready with me, I do two look one palette type of video, and I also do Makeup Bag Mondays, which is basically me going through my makeup collection, choosing some items, testing them out for two weeks, and get back to you two weeks later with a full review of everything. I also talk about nail polish because not only do I like to paint my face, I also like to paint my nails. And finally, I sometimes do a chatty video, like a tag video, because I just love hearing other people's opinions on some stuff. So in a nutshell, that's my channel and I hope you will come by and check it out. I'm super happy and grateful to collab with Karen today and I hope you will like the concept as much as we do. Thank you so much Karen for having me. Okay guys, pretty obvious, Nadia is a sweetheart. Thank you again for coming up with this idea and collabing with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get into the eye look. Okay guys, I'm so excited for this collab and to be finally using the Arkeo palette. This one was a palette that they had Angelica create the card for. So she did like some eye look inspirations and I believe Nadia did the ritual look. And she was like, hey, do you want to follow the card? And I am so unprepared that I was like, eh, I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> so bear with me, guys. It's my first time. And this is what the palette looks like. And the brand was so nice. They actually reached out to me because I was showing this palette on Instagram stories. And the shade is a little bit shattered. And they were like, oh, do you want us to send you a new color? Like, do you want us to send you a replacement pan? And I was like... That is so nice of you to offer. I know they're a Canadian indie brand, so obviously shipping's gonna be expensive. And I just told them, wait until I try out the palette. If you know it crumbles when I'm trying to use it, then I'll probably need a replacement, but there's only a few chips. So I feel like I'll be fine, but oh, I'm so excited to get into this. So yeah, let's see here. Oh, the mattes look so good, but I've also really been into like greens lately. I've been like eyeing all the green single shadows on Makeup Geek for some reason. I don't think I've ever swatched this palette either. I think I just put it in like a palettes I own that I've never like swatched. This blue purple looks pretty too. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a hard decision to make. So I think I'm just going to start off with my comfort zone. So I have a significant amount of Cleonaut Cosmetics eyeshadows, but I've never tried any of them. So let me just dust off those. I think I'm going to go in with the shade that is a little bit chipped and it's called Mono Monolith. Monolith. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And I'm just going to grab a Morphe E28 and I'm just going to tap. I'm just going to tap off the excess. Like I said, I've never used these shadows before, so I'm not really sure what I'm getting myself into or how pigmented they are or anything like that. Just putting this on my crease. I'm going to see if I can zoom you guys in closer so you can see better. Okay, I did zoom you guys in a little bit more so you could see. This is definitely a very dusty formula, but that's okay as long as it blends. This shade is so pretty. I love a good rosy tone pink. I'm getting a little wild here. I need to calm myself down because it's hitting my brow bone. 
We didn't really mean for it to go so high up. So we're gonna blend. So you guys, I really want to talk about this, but I don't really feel like filming a dedicated video. But I posted about it on my Instagram stories about Samantha Ravendahl's new video about how she got off all her PR list. And I just thought that was such a cool video that she did. And it's so nice to see her and like a bigger YouTuber like that just having put some thought into how much PR they receive, their impact on the environment. Like it's so funny because I think we all think, oh, beauty gurus, like first world problems. They have it all. You know, I wish I could be a beauty guru. But I think her perspective on talking about how much waste she creates as a beauty guru and how she actually has to pay somebody to come and you know sort through her recycling because she can't just put like PR packages that have electronics in to the trash and I just thought it was so interesting to have that kind of perspective on something like that. And so I think it's so nice that she thought, let me not salivate over free makeup and let me just, um, you know, do something positive for the world and just get off of these PR lists and then just buy the makeup that I want, which I think is so smart. I wish companies would pay more attention to something like that and come up with a process where either you get a certain amount of dollars that you can spend on a company's website. Like I think that would be the most ideal form of PR or you contact somebody that has already tried out your product and ask them if they're interested in receiving more product from you instead of just bombarding these bigger influences with product. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. I just thought it was so interesting that a bigger beauty guru, you know, really put that out there. So that's my crease and a lot of the other shades in here are also pretty light, so I don't know if there's anything to deepen up the outer V with in this palette. I did use this matte shade from the Viseart Warm Matte Palette. It's been like a go-to brow highlight for me. Usually I really like um, a shimmer highlight, a brow highlight, but recently I've really been just enjoying like a matte look. And then just to deepen up the outer corner, I'm still using the same brush, but I'm going into this dark brown shade in this palette. And I'm just placing that in the outer to outer half, I guess, of my crease. Just to bowl that up. And I think I'm just going to get into the shimmer shades here. Um, so I have my whole lid basically to work with. Actually, I just need to blend some more here. This is driving me crazy. Do I want any more mattes? I don't know, I think I'm gonna leave it. I do want to use glitter glue just cause I've never used this formula on my lids before. So I do wanna use a glitter glue cause I've never used this formula before and just it's just safer. I feel safer when I use a glitter glue. And then for glitter glue, I just like to use these like cheapy brushes cause glitter glue really messes up your brushes <laughs> if you guys didn't know. And I like to do one eye at a time. So let's do this eye first. And I'm just going to cover my whole lid with glitter glue. And I'm going to do a few different shimmers from the palette just so we can see how these look. And this is a ColourPop flat brush. Let's start with this beautiful yellow shade. It's called Sulfur. I'm just going to put that in the inner corner. Just going to press that on. Very pretty, it's like a buttercream yellow. And then I wanted to use the, I think I'm just gonna go in the order, the blue. You can definitely see the blue better than that buttercream color. Ooh, pretty. And then I wanna try the green. Ooh, it's so pretty. And then I wanted to use the purple but let me just put a little bit more of the green on. Purple. Purple definitely has like a duochrome effect. I can definitely see some pink. I'm gonna go back into the green just to brighten it up. I feel like the purple definitely took over there for a second. And then I'm gonna go into the blue as well. 
And then the yellow. Can't really tell the yellow is yellow. It's coming off more as like a white. But that is the one eye. And let me grab my blending brush. Just to blend out the crease. I don't know. It kind of looks like the rainbow <laughs> a little bit. Kind of looks like the rainbow. I can maybe see myself almost getting more use out of this in the springtime. And when did I buy this? I think I was in Sri Lanka potentially. But you guys know I love Angelica Nyquist and so does Nadia. And that's how we both, I think, ended up with this palette is because we love her so much. So now I'm doing the next eye. I feel like this would pair so well with the Creepy Cute eyeshadow palette just because like a lot of these shimmers like Sulfur, Neo, and Terrain are almost like pastels on me so it's kind of cool. I don't know. We'll see how it looks once I finish everything up. I kind of want to, I'm wondering if I should do a liner like um, if I should do some black eyeliner and give myself a wing. And what, oh, so many ideas floating through my head. I will, yeah, I will be right back because I don't want to do a wing liner on camera. So one second. Okay, guys, so I did my wing liner. You know how you start off like with a wing and you're going to make it like simple, but then it like takes over. That's what happened. And then I used some of this Urban Decay Chaos Eyeliner Pencil. I just got this pencil. Um, I really liked, I bought this green one from the Urban Decay Born to Run collection. This is Overdrive and this looks so beautiful on me. And then I bought more of these 24 seven Glide On eye pencils and I haven't liked any of the shades I bought. Like this one, I mean, I can't imagine, you know, for the price that I can't find a drugstore version. So it's a little bit disappointing. If you guys have any like bright colored eyeliners that you know will work with my skin tone, can you let me know because I'm a little bit disappointed in the Urban Decay ones. Even though I liked Overdrive, everything else has been kind of like a meh. So I'm just gonna go in and finish up my lower lash line. I really wanna go into this shade Sulfur and put more of it in the inner corner, just as a highlight, which I don't do this enough at all with my shadows. Do inner corner highlights. I know some people like know all the best inner corner highlights in a palette and I'm like, Gosh, I should really try harder to do that. So now I'm going to go into this beautiful blue shade called Dead Sea, I believe. Yeah, Dead Sea. And I'm just going to smoke it out on the lower lash line. I'm just going to stop right there. Just keep it simple on the lower lash line. And there's a little bit of fallout, so let me grab my... Morphe E53 and just try and brush some of this off. And I'm gonna do some setting spray for my whole face and then mascara and I will be right back with the finished look. I will definitely be linking this brand down in the description box if you guys are interested in shopping the Arkeo palette. They also have another palette called the Paleo palette, which came out first. This is their second palette, I believe, and they also have a ton of single shadows. So yeah, if you guys are interested in shopping this brand, I will link them down below. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's definitely a little bit different for me. Oh my gosh, I have so many pastel colors on my eyes right now. I think I'm gonna have a little conniption. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is definitely different for me though, you guys. So I hope you liked it. Check out the channel. Check out Nadia's channel. Check out Cleonade Cosmetics because they are a wonderful indie brand out of Canada. And I hope you guys are having a great Thanksgiving weekend with your friends and family if you're here in America. If it's a regular week for you in any other part of the world, I hope you guys are having a good day as well. Thank you so much for watching guys. I will see you in my next video. Bye.